kati chitu temiaka ejisoba mkumi na musambu buchanga government ya zula anti Uganda elina mafuta ilanga chitebeleze wa anti kaweza ebipipa obumbi mukaga mwobu kadebitano chokanga basu bulo kujayo ebipipa haka umbi kamu mwobu kadebina government ya zesu biza wana Uganda nga weko robuta wera okulaba nga wana Uganda bata nikoko zesecho buga gacha abwe government ya kumo kuteke za wana Uganda ntuwe tunatukira Kuntandu kwa yo mwaka, nkumi bili ya bili mwetano. Amafuta gaja kuba, gawe dokulongo sebwa. Chuka minisa webi obu gago wensibo, na masanyalaze rusi nankabirwa. Yategeza parliament wicheno. Ntipa na Uganda, amafuta, baga suwire kuunkumiro yo mwaka, nkumi bili ya bili mwetano. Government and its partners are working tirelessly and I am happy to report that we are on track to have the first oil by the end of 2025. Chinono, charity dabaka, okutani kukubusa busa government, kunsonge no. This now rings my mind that the, 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 the roadmap is beginning to shift. And so, which means something is happening. I want to plead with the minister to be consistent in these messages. Because now, the population is not going to believe us. If we are going to say oil is going to be there in 2023, we are talking about 2025. Because the dates have continuously shifted. But I know as solutions are invented, challenges also what? Shift. So I stand with you. I stand with you this time around. But can you stand by, can you stand by the end of 2025? Because we are, we are going to collect your statements and bring them here. Chokana Nkabirwa Omusango. Agutade kubitongo lewe wana chewa. Biaga matibia funyiride okuwa nisente kateka ya government yeno. As first challenges, because of the NGOs and civil society organizations that have been decampaigning the development. So these are the factors that are making us to shift the deadlines. I will be announcing the winning bidder for the refinery project. Na nkabili ulate geza nga waliwa mawanga. Agata gara Uganda kusima mafuta gayo. Nga baga laba na Uganda batandiko kozesa motoka. Istanbul ya kumasanyalaze. You are all aware of the bad campaign against fossil fuel development that has been going around in the world. And we have been countering their financing institutions that announced that they are not going to put any money they are not going to finance anything to do with fossil fuel development. Yovude kwa government ya tegeza, ngabu ya lieta andise, okusima mafuta, kuluzi wa kingifisha, ilanga nechifo, wega teleke bwa, chiri mkuzimbi bwa. A total of 11 wells have been drilled. Eight in the Tilenga area and three in the kingfisher area. Colleagues, the central processing facilities do the primary processing before crude is subjected either to the refinery or for export through the East African crude oil pipeline. Nankabila ira nyonyo de, obu njibwa mafuta Uganda, gesubira, okusima buliru nako. Peak production, right on our speaker. All fields mentioned above will produce 200 and 30,000 barrels of oil per day. Jingo Francis, NTV, Kusawemo.